Quantum of Solace is the 22nd installment of the most successful movie franchise of all time. Bond. James Bond. Daniel Craig is back as Bond. And as always, there is a new Bond girl. Sexy. Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. My name is Pussy Galore. Strong. Confident. Hi, I'm Plenty. Holly Goodhead. Plenty or two. Some want to fight. Others are deadly. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Some love him. We ran the world one more time. My heart to get that didn't last very long, did it? Others die for him. Some were good and others were bad. All were beautiful. Olga Kurilenko is the latest Bond girl. We didn't settle on the price. Make me an offer. We can work it out later. Over drinks. What the hell is this? I think someone wants to kill you. Olga Kurilenko, nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning. I went to see the movie the other day and it says, you know, Bond and the opening credits come up and it goes with Daniel Craig and Olga Kurilenko. I mean, right there. How does that feel? It's it's pretty incredible. I just, you know, everything happens so fast and it's just so big and I just, it sounds like a dream. <laughs> L let's remind or at least introduce people a little bit to your, your background. You grew up in Moscow. Uh, no. <laughs> not, no? I thought it was no. you were discovered in Moscow. Uh, yeah, I went, I, I spent there literally seven days uh, for vacation with my mother and that's when someone just came up to us and proposed me to, was to it try really on a subway. Uh, yeah, on the subway. But I never lived in Moscow. Oh, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm I from Ukraine, from the south of Ukraine, from I, a very small town. I apologize. And so that's when this no person problem. came up to you and, and discovered you, you started a model. Yeah. And, and and it didn't take very long for you to appear on some very big fashion magazines. And then you made the transition into acting, a and have taken on more traditional roles. So when someone came up to you and said, "Okay, here's a script for a Bond movie." and you could be the next Bond girl, what did you think? Well, I thought it was great because um, I, I saw Casino Royale and I thought the movie really changed. You know, they started like this new concept of Bond. I mean, the, with, with Daniel Craig as right. a new Bond. And uh, also, um, I thought the Bond girl part changed too. And it was really more interesting and she was a real personality. And that really inspired me to go. Um, I thought, you know, I thought they wouldn't go back now and would just keep it in this way. Did you have any reservations? I, I know that, that some previous Bond girls have said, you know what, I thought the spotlight would be great, but it would also take me in a different direction, and, and they worried whether it would be tough to get out of that, that mm -hmm. image for a while. Any thoughts of that? I'm not worried. No? <laughs> I, just, I just see the scripts I'm getting and the offers I'm getting, and it's, uh, I know what kind of projects people are proposing me, and I'm just, I know that it's, it won't be a problem, because the things I get offered are totally different from uh, from this movie and from others that I've done. I would so. imagine you walk into the audition, there have got to be a sea of young ladies. Uh, there had to be just a lot of them. There were quite a few. What yeah. did you have to do for the audition? Well, I had three auditions, and it lasted over two and a half months. And uh, so the first one was, of course, the general one. There were Each time there were different scenes, and um, each time I got a call back. And the last one was Dan with Daniel. And after that, I waited for about three weeks, and I got a call on uh, Christmas Eve, and my agent told me I got the part. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's not I know, too bad. It's, it's kind of a Christmas gift. I don't want to give uh, anything away from the movie, be, but suffice it to say, your character is uh, trying to come to terms with a difficult past. What else do we need to know about Camille? Well, Camille is going to be very different from other girls, because she's, uh, she's just this uh, feisty and strong woman, um, and she, she's very independent. She's independent from Bond. She doesn't need anyone's help. She doesn't need Bond's help. She can do everything by herself. And she has her goal, her mission in the movie. Obviously, there are going to be a lot of people in this theater that are going to be, have their eyes squarely on you on the screen. And I'm saying this as a happily married man, though. It's also hard to take your eyes off Daniel Craig. He brings so much to this role. And I'm a longtime Bond fan from Sean Connery right through the, through the end. He's an extraordinary Bond, isn't he? He is. Yeah, I think he really changed 
opponent. Bond, he's, he became different. He became stronger, tougher. He's a uh, badass. Excuse he my... I, he oh, yeah. really is. Yeah, and, and, you know, he... I mean, his face looks strong. Just what, what you know, the energy that comes through his eyes, it's totally different. And also, he's, he has a strong body. So you definitely feel like this Bond can really break your neck. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to make sure people also understand that while this movie opens next month, you're also right now in the number one movie in America, in, in Max Payne. So, so it, is life going to change dramatically for you, do you think? You know, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a big change. Um, I'm very excited. Right. Olga, congratulations. I know your 29th birthday is also the day that the movie opens, so congratulations yeah. on that as well. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much. And Quantum of Solace opens nationwide November 14th.